Hello, welcome back to the um, OpenJS World Conference. I'm Dylan. I want to talk briefly about Intern, which is an OpenJS Foundation project, and it's a complete testing stack for JavaScript and TypeScript developers. Uh, briefly, my name is Dylan Shimon. I'm one of the creators of Dojo and also have contributed efforts over the years to Intern. Intern is the primary testing framework that we use with Dojo, both old and new. And it's just a really nice way to test applications. And we just wanted to give a quick update today on what's new in Intern 4, which was released over the past couple of years and updated over that time. And then give you a brief overview of what we're working on for the Intern 5 release, which hopefully will come out this year sometime. But you know, as is often the case with open source, we get things done when they're done. So Intern kind of takes a different approach compared to a lot of different testing tools and that it's kind of this glue architecture for pulling together all the different things you might want to test in a simple test runner. It includes approaches for doing unit and functional tests, uh, includes an assertion library using the Chai API or Chai project. Um, it includes code coverage analysis through Istanbul. Uh, I think Intern was actually the first framework of, to test with that used Istanbul, and now everyone uses Istanbul, but that was kind of a unique thing at the time. And with Intern 4, one of the major things we did was completely modernize the framework. So before it was sort of an AMD or common JS testing approach for its modules, and um, testing with TypeScript was kind of a chore. We're big TypeScript fans on the Dojo and Intern teams, so Intern 4 is really designed not only to be a good JavaScript testing API, but also to be really powerful for users of TypeScript with a thoroughly typed API for TypeScript users. There are many different ways to write tests and assertions, and there's also various experimental projects for doing things like performance testing or visual regression testing, though to be frank, there are better solutions out there for those problems. And um, it does functional testing via Selenium or via WebDriver, or you could also use something like Puppeteer or maybe even Playwright in the near future if you wanted to. And um, finally, there's also a runner, which is a Chrome extension, which allows you to basically record functional tests. There are still things you'd want to clean up by hand, but it does allow someone to go through, mimic user behavior, record a bunch of tests, and then perhaps clean those up and then use those as part of a functional testing suite. So Intern 5 is probably less ambitious than the Intern 4 release was in terms of changes, but a lot of it's just looking at what we have and improving it and making it um, just, I wouldn't say competitive because we don't really care about being competitive so much as just cleaning up things that frustrate us or that feel less efficient. So when Intern originally existed um, before Intern 5, it was sort of separated into the intern repo, which was kind of the core, uh, Leadfoot, which was the functional driver testing suite, and um, another set of packages for things like how you communicate over the protocols to the web driver APIs and, and then different subsets of packages. So what we've done is we've brought most of that back into a mono repo so that it's easier for us to manage and because that just makes more sense with now that we have full module support for JavaScript everywhere. We've made a lot of updates to try to simplify or streamline or work with new improvements in the WebDriver API, like the Actions API. We've been working on a watch mode to make it easier to just have intern run and run tests based on when you um, save changes to your code base. And then just other little refinements to our CLI interface and just other places where Maybe we can run intern with zero configuration by default or things like that. So just constantly looking for little things we can do to improve our project and make it work better. There are a lot of resources out there for intern. The intern website is at theintern.io. We came out of it, we thought it was really unique, and then a movie called The Intern came out, which kind of destroyed our ranking, but we still like the name because it's just fun and quirky. The, we're on GitHub, there's a, the intern organization, and you can find the intern repo. If you look at intern slash project slash three, you'll find the intern project plan for intern five. And then also we blog a lot about intern on SitePen's blog. Um, there's a category for intern posts. That's about it for today. Um, thanks for making the time and listening. And if you want to give intern a try, please check it out. Thank you. Bye-bye.